part, I went to the YouTube Space Toronto event last night. I'm getting ready, putting on makeup for the YouTube Space event Toronto tonight. And we're off to the YouTube event. Hi! Good, how are you? Hi guys, how are you guys? Thank you. I just wanted to thank you guys for coming, some familiar faces here. I have a lot of hair products this month actually. Let's just start with the hair products then. So this first product I really want to show you guys because I saw a huge difference in the color of my hair. My natural hair color is dark, dark brown. It's like a black shade. So um, whenever I go in to get my hair done at the salon, um, the last time I went in, I asked to get it colored like a chocolate brown because I kind of want it want my natural hair color to grow out and if I want to stick to that and chocolate brown would kind of blend easily with my natural hair color growing back out so um, anyways, what am I going with this? okay so with natural dark dark hair when you color it, it's really easy for it to turn brassy um, meaning that it'll turn like this really dull shade of orange or just like a really red tone but it's not like that vibrant red that you see it's just a really dull dry looking kind of brassiness and I hate that what I decided to do was to get a purple shampoo this is by the brand Rusk and it's called their Sensories Bright Anti-Brassy Shampoo and when I first did research on purple shampoos I read that they're only for blonde hair so at first I was like okay maybe I won't try this out but the more research I did um, on this kind of shampoo I was like you know what if it's made for blonde hair to keep its ashiness it, to keep its vibrancy then it should work on different color hairs too so I decided to try it out even though I don't have blonde hair obviously the last time I got it colored was back in January and it's May now so I would say it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, it's all because of this shampoo. I use this about twice a week. Um, so I would go in with my regular shampoo first, just to like cleanse my hair. And then even though this is a shampoo, I don't really use it as a shampoo. I take like a quarter size and then I just run it through my hair and I leave it on for five minutes. I don't rinse it off right away. This Rusk purple shampoo is great, but the Rusk regular shampoo sucks. The next product is a dry shampoo and this is special because it's invisible and it's really tough for me to find really good invisible dry shampoo. Either they leave like a white cast or they say that they have like a dark tone or something like that and I just prefer it to have zero color so invisible and this I got for a really great deal. I got this at the Shiseido sale which is coming up for those of you in the GTA. Um, it's next weekend, May 14th and 15th um, at the Shiseido Warehouse Sale up in Markham. So if you're interested, go check it out. They have lots of great deals there. Shiseido, Clay de Po, uh, NARS is there, Joico, and a bunch of other brands that Shiseido owns. So um, yeah, this is Quantum Micro V. On days when I just feel like my hair needs a bit more life put into it because it's looking kind of like bleh. Then I'll go in, I'll lift up this layer and I'll just go shh, 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 like that and it'll just absorb any excess oil and it just go in and shake it up like shh, shh, shh. this next product I got at the sale as well it's by the brand ISO I S O and it's their daily shape working spray so I only use hairsprays that give me like a really natural non crunchy finish i hate shampoos not shampoos i hate hairsprays that leave that hard crunchiness in my hair i don't like that um so one of my favorites is the l'oreal el net satin that one's really great and also i found this guy this works just as great as the l'oreal one so they have two kinds if you were to go looking for it they have the iso working spray which is the um, flexible hold and they have the other one which is like a strong hold and it gives you that crunchiness look at this humongous bottle I remember paying like three four bucks for it now on to makeup one of my favorite highlighters that I'm always reaching for these days is the ColourPop lunch money 
This highlighter is so gorgeous. It's a cream to powder finish. And let me just show you. I like applying this with my fingers. And once I apply it on the skin, it's this gorgeous, to say natural, but yet a really nice, like a dewy, you can definitely see it type highlighter. No shimmer or anything. It just has a really beautiful sheen to it, like a nice champagne color. So I've been reaching for this all the time now uh, whenever I do makeup and I just apply it on all the high points especially on top of my cheeks I have it on today it's just like a really natural wet dewy finish on the skin my favorite so Colourpop did a great job with this so this is Colourpop lunch money the next two products are products that I haven't ever tried before until April so it makes sense that it's in my April favorites. This first one is Inglot's Eyeshadow in 164. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know how much I love this, how much I reach for it. I went to the YouTube Space Toronto event last night and this was the eyeshadow I wore and it's just, it's gorgeous in my opinion. It's a really nice shimmery pink color. It's um, really easy to blend. It's not patchy, there's no fallout or anything. And it just gives you that nice sheen, a nice pink color that's really easy to wear with different colors. I like um, blending this with a nice gold color, that's what I did yesterday. Or you can mix this with a nice brown as well. And pink and brown, guys, looks so pretty on the eyes. So yeah, this is my go-to color these days. Perfect spring and summer color. So again, this is Inglot eyeshadow in 164. The last product is also from Inglot and I have it on my lips right now. Um, if you guys watched my, shoot, what makeup tutorial was that? Oh, it's the Inglot one. Um, if you go on my channel, you'll see it. It's like a Inglot makeup tutorial. And I tried this for the first time in that video and I was like, oh, this is so pretty Inglot. You did a great job. And they really did because look at this nude color. Whatever eye makeup I have on, I feel like this nude is the perfect color. I like that this liquid lipstick is non-drying. The best way to apply this is to start with just a teeny bit. Don't load it up right away. Um, and then just slowly build it up if you need more color because this type of formula, it works great when you apply a thin layer on. Let it dry a bit and then apply a second layer if need be. But this color is just so pigmented and smooth that I feel like I just need one layer, one coat, and it's done. Like today, right now, that's just one layer. Perfect. I love it. So... That is all for my April favorites. I was gonna say May favorites. That's it for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorites are the past month. And I'll catch up with you very soon in my next video. Bye.